What is the single force that controls the quality of your life? If there was one gift our Creator has given us, or the universe, whatever you believe, what is it, what is the one power that you have right now in this moment that can change everything? You have it, I have it, we all have it. It's this one singular individual power that can change anything in our life, regardless of what's happened to us. And I know you know the answer. The answer is the power of choice. The one thing we have in this world is we can't control the events, but we can choose what to focus on, we can choose what things mean, and we can choose what to do. Those three choices, those three decisions, really control our life. It's not so much the conditions of our life that control our destiny as much as the decisions of our life. Try for a second to think about something. Think about your life and just think about are there a few decisions? If I were to ask you two decisions you've made in your life, you know that if you would have made a different decision, you would have had a totally different life. I mean, it may be a, a life may have been better or may have been worse, I don't know, but you would have had a different life. I'm not asking you to, to buy into the fact that you should have known the answers. I just want you to see the power of a decision. But the big decisions start with little decisions like, what am I going to focus on? Because whatever you focus on, you're going to feel. If you focus on all the things that have been done to you in your life, of course you're going to feel like hell. If you focus on all the amazing coincidences that have happened, things that maybe they were guided, maybe not, but things happen, and because of that, you met this person that's your best friend, your husband, your wife, or because of that, you have this ability, or because you were there that day, God, you missed an accident. I don't know what it is, but whatever you focus on, you're going to feel. If you focus on people don't care and you'll look for reasons why they don't care and evidence they don't care, you'll find it everywhere. If you look for evidence that people are really good people inside, that at some level we all care about each other, you'll find it. Seek and you shall find. The secret is, have you become conscious about your decision making? Now we've all done this. I do it still. We all do. But if you want to change your results, you've got to become more conscious in your decision making. So think about it. What you focus on, you will feel. Whether it's true or not, you focus on how people don't care, you're going to feel they don't care. Second decision you make is what do things mean? So you focus on something someone does and you come up with a meaning and the meaning is no one loves me. The meaning is they're trying to take advantage of me. Depending on what meaning you come up with and you get to choose the meaning of anything. For some people they say this situation happened with the economy and what that means is I'm going broke. Somebody else said the situation happened with the economy, guess what? That means I'm going to work harder, I'm going to be more creative, it changed everything. Everybody else is going to quit, so we're going to dominate the marketplace. What makes the difference in the quality of people's lives? Why is it some people in business or even in life seem to have every advantage? Everything's been given to them. The right timing, the right market, the right technology, the right insight. Or just an average person. Did you ever notice how sometimes the people that were given everything, they were given love, support, education, money, very oftentimes, those are the people that spend their life going in out of rehab. And then you see people that seem to have everything against them. You know, they didn't have the money. They didn't have the education. They didn't have the background. But something inside of them was so hungry that they were driven to find answers. They were driven to find a way to add value to other people's lives. And they found a way to thrive, to succeed, to achieve, to contribute on a significant scale. What is that difference that makes the difference? How was your life better today because of a decision you made years ago? Not just negative ones. Think about it. Sometimes a little decision changes your whole life. There's patterns that psychologically and emotionally make us not use our ability, make us get frustrated or angry or overwhelmed or uncertain or scared or fearful and freeze up and not use that ability, that talent, that skill. And there are other patterns that will get you to own yourself. So decisions equal destiny. It's not our conditions. It's our decisions. So if we want a new life, if we want a new experience, we've got to make new choices. If you don't like the way your career is or your business is, change it. If you don't like your body, change it. If you don't like your relationship, change you first. Because if you change it, you'll bring you to the next one. Maybe it's time to change it too, but change yourself first. We all get what we tolerate in ourselves and other people. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. The difference in people is their standards, period. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should spend more time with my kids. I should, I should, I should, I should. 
And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change.